Appreciate the change in scenery, I think. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Uh, why do you live in such a creepy place? <laughs> well, there's a sitting room up on the third floor. It's got plenty of windows. You're welcome to go up there. Oh, you know. no, no. This is, this is fine, thank you, in a bright, Dracula sort of way. I realize I'm lucky to be here. I do, and, and I'm lucky to be anywhere. You're welcome to stay as long as you follow Nadine's rules, and that's that you don't get up. I mean, that room needed stitches, you know. I know. Thank you. I will be careful, and thank you for not calling the police, because this whole thing is <clears throat> way too complicated to explain. Yeah. Are you sure that you don't remember who stabbed you? Like I said, a lot of people want me dead. Yeah. Any of them have anything to do with... Michael's shooting. Maybe somebody wants revenge against you for sending Ian after Sonny. If Ian had done his job right, I'd be a hero in some circles instead of the reason Michael Corinthos won't wake up. He knows that I was involved in what happened to Michael, except for Johnny, and now, and now you. <laughs> you don't think Jason Morgan's figured it out by now? No. And trust me, if Jason knew, I wouldn't have crawled my way onto the docks and... Spoon in the air. It's, it's, it's Windermere. We're on Spoon Island. Right. Right. Anyway, I'd be dead. <laughs> You're so matter of fact about it, like someone trying to kill you is an everyday occurrence. It kind of is. Why is that? I, I, I'm a Zakara for one thing, and I'm not a very nice person, I guess. I mean, look, in all fairness, in my own defense, I wasn't raised to be. I mean, mob life doesn't exactly bring out the kindness and compassion in good old mom and dad, you know? I do. I do. Families can get a little complicated sometimes. I'm not complaining. A lot of people had it a lot worse. It's just that some people can escape their families and some can't. Why can't you? My little brother, Johnny. He needs me. For what? Well, he's the next in line. Ah, yes. The bright, shining future of the Zakaras, right? How did you know? All you have to do... It's a lot better than I'll ever be. Why do you say that? He's my half-brother. <laughs> when Johnny was born, I promised that I would always love him and protect him, but my dad got kind of crazy, started flipping out, and it made it really a lot more difficult, and then... John's mother died, and Johnny needed me, but Daddy thought that I was babying him, so he sent me away to live in Italy, and Johnny grew up alone, you know, mostly with servants and my father. So would you say that Johnny is sort of the, uh, the prince of the Zakars, so to speak? Yeah, I guess that's, that's one way of putting it. Yeah. yeah, well, I guess I know a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. My full name is Prince Nicholas Mikhail Stavrosovich Kassadine. Prince? Yeah. Seriously? S since the day I was born, I stood to inherit the Kassadine fortune. Here I am. Yeah, I, I grew up isolated on this little island in Greece. So my grandmother and, and my uncle, they just battled each other over, over my inheritance my whole life. Yeah. And my grandmother, she's actually criminally insane too yeah she's tried to kill me on several occasions oh my god she fit right into the cigars no she's driven by insanity money and tradition yeah so nikki are you as crazy as the rest of them <laughs> oh i don't know some people think that i'm somewhat peculiar what, because you live on an island alone in a castle filled with <laughs> stuff that looks like it came straight out of a Dracula movie? Go figure. Yeah, my uncle purchased this, well, he actually purchased the entire island when we moved here to Port Charles. Why? Why, why Port Charles? Oh, it's, it's a really long story and... If you'll excuse me, sir, your brother is on the way in. Oh. Hey, 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 how are you? Good. Hey, you feel it? Um, I'm okay. It was reasonably sane, I guess, but I'm sure that's not why you came all the way out here. Um, my dad.
dad. He had to leave town. Did you know that? Yes, he, he did mention that. And uh, we'd better see Johnny Zakar. We'll warn him away from Lou. Uh, let me guess she was with him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's sleeping with him. Okay, well, the harder that you push Lulu away from Johnny, the more she's going to want to be with him. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Just stand around she's and watch her risk her own life? She's young. She gets to make some bad choices. No, she thinks she's in love. She also thinks for herself. We need to respect that. She's just like Mom, and you know it. Lucky, no, she's not. Laura is clinically insane. Lulu is not. She's stronger than you think. She's already survived a lot of loss and some other difficult choices. Listen, she'll, she'll survive this relationship, romance, whatever it is with Johnny's a girl. Yeah, and our mom was pushed way too hard for too long. I don't want that the same thing to happen to Lulu. I understand. What do you want me to do? I want you to put a little pressure on Johnny Zakara. Okay? If, if we can't make Lulu walk away from him, maybe we can make him walk away from Lulu. I, I, I mean, I'll do what I can. That's a... Thanks. Okay. I'm sorry. Listen, no, you take care, care of yourself. Okay. All right. Yeah. Feel better. I will. You can come out. Okay, tell me, is this really as bad as it sounds? Your sister might be a whack job and she's in love with my brother? 